Hi, I'm Steve Axtell and welcome to A Magic Moment. I'm here today with ventriloquist Ken Groves. How are you doing, Ken? I'm great, Steve. Good to see you. <laughs> Ken, you have had an amazing career and we <laughs> love your energy and excitement. And uh, tell us about what you've, tell us, tell our viewers a little bit about your career. And what, what's well, been. I started off when I was very young. Yeah. Of course, we all did, didn't we? And uh, my father hated it, my mother secretly loved it, and my grandmother was the one that really pushed me on this thing because she wasn't afraid of my father. <laughs> Everybody else was. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's it's something that I just can't believe. I remember as a kid seeing Clinton Detweiler, yeah. you know, and going, oh, and, you know, the news events would come out. I was like, oh, yeah. you know, they, they, those are great. Mayor you know? Studios. And then, yeah. then all these years later to be a friend of Clinton's, be involved yeah. in the convention and helping Mark run it uh, yeah. after the last 11 or 12 years. Uh, it's just a dream come true. We're at the Ventriloquist Convention yeah. 2011. Yes, and you know to be able to say I've been all over the world a couple of yeah. times. Wow. More than I want to admit. Um, in fact, my dad, my dad hates this because my dad's a manly man. Yeah. Mm. And he will actually come into my, I have a garage bigger than this room. <laughs> and he'll come into the garage and he'll look around and see the lifts. And I have a machine, you put the car on and it'll spin it in a circle. Whoa. And do anything you want Whoa. with it. Yeah. And I have three, my dad's a welder. And I have three or four different kinds of welders setting up and all this stuff. And my dad will walk in and go, all from a puppet. God, <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it too. Uh, yeah. Puppets it, are powerful. They, I mean, are. they are. They, they, they are. They really are. And it's just, it's amazing. And to, you know, I've worked with John Wayne and Lee Marvin. Wow. And uh, Debbie Reynolds and Rip Taylor. Mercy. And just gobs, oh, any country music star you can think of, I've opened. Is that a niche for what? you, the country music scene? It used to be. It's uh -huh. not anymore. A couple of people messed it up for everybody. Uh oh Yeah, and now country music's opening with music, yeah. where they used to open with comedy. Mm. And uh, now they've gone to opening with music because... Literally, some opening acts messed it up for everybody. Did you work the Grand Ole Opry? I have, I have never, I've worked in that room, mm -hmm. but not for the Grand Ole yeah. Opry. And that's one thing, I, if I say, well, what, what's your remaining dream? What's on the bucket list? Bucket list, list. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it would be to do the Grand Ole Opry yeah. one time, just to walk out there and go, ah, cool, look at oh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, see, I've been in the old Ryman Auditorium. Okay. And then I've been down at the Gaylord place where it is, or it was, till the flood, uh, and have been in both, and just stand on that stage, and oh, can you imagine a mm -hmm. big laugh mm -hmm. from a room this big? Yeah. I mean, the wave would hit you and probably make you go back <laughs> a couple, you know, steps. Oh, I'm not kidding. And that would. Maybe that's be why just Grandpa too. Jones was so yeah. frail. <laughs> Get knocked around it again. <laughs> Woo, do it again. You know. Well, bringing puppets to life is something that you're known for, and you, yeah. your characters that you have and that you do are so strong and so different from you, which is right. the key. That's the key. Um, and you you can enter into a conversation, as you were talking about last mm -hmm. night in the lecture, yeah. where it's not just memorized; it's a conversation. So you're right. natural for what we're going to do here for the magic moment. Sure. I'm going to sure. grab a puppet at random sure. from behind us here, yeah. give it to you, and then our viewers can watch you bring it to life and, and understand a little bit more about the process. And feel free to talk through that. Okay. Um, and right. and uh, and then bring this guy to life. I'm gonna okay. bring this old man over. <coughs> ah, yes. Imitating myself here now. <laughs> I love this guy. <coughs> oh my gosh. My name is Ken. Ken! Ken! I know him. <laughs> we, we go back a long way. Well, not a long way. L well. <laughs> For you. Yeah. Good to be here. <laughs> you smell something? Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm 93! <laughs> My gaskets are wore out. <laughs> Good to be here. And, 
That is an ugly carpet. <laughs> Where am I? You can see the carpeting? Oh, yeah. It's ugly. I can't see anything else. How many fingers? Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Where am I, Steve? Where am I? This is a ventriloquist convention. Run! Run! <laughs> Save and, yourself! And right now we're having a magic moment. Excuse me? <laughs> Somebody's gonna go to jail. <laughs> and you are who? I, I am Ken. Why are you letting him touch me? <laughs> <laughs> this is what a magic moment is. See, he's discovering who you are as a character. Run! <laughs> Save yourself! <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> oh my! Can you can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm old. I can <laughs> see that. What did you do for a living? I sold stuff door to door. Really? Yeah. You ever see a door to door salesman? Y yes, I have. Uh, the guy who used to come to our place was the Fuller Brush Salesman. Oh yeah, sure. Sold every kind of brush you could want. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. I remember, you got a time through a story, Steve? Yeah, I'm sure. Go okay. Ahead. I remember one time I went up to the door and I knocked on the door. And the lady of the house came to the door. Really? Yeah, they did that back then. <laughs> okay. And then she saw I was a salesman and she slammed the door in my face. That's rude. <laughs> but the door bounced open. Well, she thought I was messing with her, you know, a salesman's trick. Well, yeah. Sure. yeah. So she slammed the door again <laughs> and it bounced back open. Well, now she's really mad. So she hauls off and she slams the door as hard as she could. And, and it bounced back open. And I said, lady, if you want to shut the door, you're going to have to move your kitty cat. <laughs> Now, Ken, yeah. you, you gave him that voice. Is there another old man voice? Can you do a variation of that to give people an idea for another type of old man voice? Well, I, uh... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um... So that's what deeper. are we talking about? <laughs> I like Voices. that. It's deeper and it's more drawn out. It's yeah. older. Yeah. You know, less energy. Yeah. I'm 19, you know. Better check his pulse. <laughs> the guy's going, man. He's a, he's almost lost it here. <laughs> oh, there we go. It felt good. That was magical. Yeah, that was a magic Do moment. Do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I owe him money. <laughs> oh my. So it's it's so much fun. Yeah. Just um, you know, and it doesn't always work. No, it doesn't. No. Yeah. I mean, you. I have, as the wife will tell you, I have bought a few things yeah. over the last 30 years that pff, <laughs> they're laid, you know. Uh, let's sell this at the convention next year. But then there's some that just, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Were you at the, the, the event convention I did in Vegas? Yes. With, with yeah. uh, Paul Winchell? Yes. And when Jimmy, or when Jerry Lane slid the case up, on the stage yes. to Paul uh -huh. and went, oh, he's here. And Paul just shot him that look. We'd set all that up beforehand. Oh, wow. You like, no, Paul Winchell, he was wonderful. Yes, yes. That's the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when he told everybody at the convention, told everybody, I haven't opened this case in 20 years. Wow. I yeah. don't know. And he opened the case and he stared at that case for a couple of minutes. And then he reached in and pulled Jerry out and set him on his knee. Though I mean, that place there was a quite a there was a lot of people there, and it was dead silence. And he just the puppet, you know, Jerry looked at Paul and went, "Winch, where the hell you been?" Wow! The place exploded, and wow. for the next forty-five minutes, they just sat and talked like old friends. Mm -hmm. And that was a magical moment. Yeah. And we caught that yeah. on tape. Oh. It's incredible. That's conversation. Oh. Yeah. And he had nothing prepared. Yeah. yeah. And afterwards, I, I was sitting talking with Paul and, and Jerry, and he said, Jerry, had you not been my friend for the last 45 years, I'd have killed you right there. Wow. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't want Jerry there. Yeah. He just wanted himself there. Wow. And we just kind of pulled that on him. <laughs> but it is. Um, the, the relationship between you and your puppet is more than just um, a, a toy. It's not just a prop. 
It, it, it's it, a tool. It's something and that it's, you have learned to become a character. Uh, you've given it a background story. It, yes. The, the more convincing that, that you can be that it's real, the mm -hmm. better the illusion. And so many people miss the whole psychology yeah. behind it. Mm -hmm. I've studied old people for years, mm -hmm. how they work and how they act and what's going on. And up, sir. I'm looking at the cart. <laughs> I'm looking for bugs. <laughs> no, they're here. <laughs> no, no, I know they're here. No, it's okay. No bugs here. Where are you? No, I'm not going to tell you the name because we could get sued. I'm <laughs> not good. But you gotta, you gotta really study how people move and how they act. And and as a lot of people will get an old character like this, and they'll do this. Right. Well, I'm on speed. They don't move that way. Mm -mm. You gotta keep everything in perspective yeah. to the character. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the personality of that character, why, what, when, where, exactly. how. Mm -hmm then you'll try this joke and this joke, well, it may not fit that no, personality. exactly right. And yeah. then it, people go, eh, it doesn't, they know they don't know why, but they know it doesn't work. Yeah, it's not nearly as entertaining. Right, All right. When and you so know the important. character and you're in, you, you know his background story, did you, you know, know what he likes, did you? it works. He was talking. Huh? It works. He was talking. I couldn't hear. <laughs> Sorry. Just like I that. I saw the lips move, but who cares? See, part of his yeah. background story would be that he doesn't hear well. Only he when a, I want to. <laughs> oh, it's selective. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. all men do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The wife could yell at me all day. Nothing. <laughs> Don't great. hear a thing. Yes, yes, that's true. Did you know I was in the Olympics? No, I did not yes, know that. Yes. What'd you do, sir? Huh? What did you do in the Olympics? What were you? What's he talking did about? Did you compete? <laughs> did you compete or? Who? What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you were in the Olympics. Who told you? You just did. Liar! <laughs> no, you said that you were in the Olympics. Oh, I was. <laughs> That's how old people talk. Yeah. They really yeah. do. And and a lot. Yeah. He's <laughs> <just> like. <laughs> exactly. What? And and a lot of people don't get that when they're using an old suit here, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, thank you. I want to thank My you, too. My boxers are a little tight. You want to adjust those, too? <laughs> it's been wonderful. Well, thank you. Yeah. Ken, Who is thank she? you so much. That's Steve, and I'm Ken. And this has been thank a magic you. moment. See ya. <laughs> yeah.